In today's video, we're going to look at how to use the UH615 by Uniden. So when you go to collect a radio before your shift, uh, the first thing to look at um, in, the, in the charger is to make sure that you get one that is fully charged. So you can tell that by looking at the little charge bars that are here. If you've got one that's fully charged, that will be lit up all across and not uh, continually progressing through on a charging cycle. So now that you have your unit, we first thing we're going to do is turn it on. So our button in the center here and press and hold until it turns on. Now this unit is set to channel 65 and it also has the key lock set. So that is the little key you can see underneath. And that means that you can't change any of the other things because it has the lock on. And that's helpful because it stops people from mistakenly going to the wrong channel or so forth. If the channel is ever too busy or there is uh, other people using that channel uh, that you are using, uh, in this instance 65, uh, management may wish for you to change the channel. And so to do that, we have to press and hold the key lock until it turns off. You can then change the channel and then it's wise to once again press the key lock, press and hold so that it stays on. So now we're using the radio uh, to transmit. We're going to press this button at the top, which is called the PTT or push to talk. And so when you press that down, you'll see that it comes up with TX, which is transmit at the top. Speak directly into the microphone, holding the unit upright. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? And you'll get your reply. Uh, do, not hold the mic do not hold it like this and transmit, or like this and transmit. The antenna is designed to be upright and that it will radiate out from that direction. So if we're holding it like this, then we're actually going down to the floor and up into the sky. It will still work, but this is the way it's supposed to work. So we have on the back our belt clip to put on our jeans or so. And also you may have a lanyard. So if you have a lanyard, you can put that through the eyelet on your jeans. Uh, you can put it through on the button of your shirt as well. And what it helps to do is just make sure that if we do actually drop the unit, we don't destroy the unit, we keep it. So yeah, if you want to put it through the eyelet of your jeans, say for example, put it through, pull it around and keep it tight like that. And then just the reverse of that to take it off afterwards, pretty simple. One of the other things you may be issued with is a earpiece mic. These things are not cheap. So one of the things never to do is once we get them, is to try and straighten them out by pulling them. You don't ever pull them like this or try and straighten them out by pulling them because they have very fine wires inside them and they will break. And once they break, they're not worth fixing. If you need to, just spend a minute and undo it gently. And if you wanna get it untangled, just hold it upright and it will naturally untangle for you. Now on the 615, the jack is on the side here. So that bit there goes into the top. And then the earpiece, this piece here, goes into your ear. And this clips up onto either your lapel or your collar like that and instead of having the PTT the push to talk on the side now you have it on the button on your earpiece and once again just speak into the microphone there instead of the microphone on the radio another thing that uh, we did have with the 615 if there is any emergency is that they do have a torch so it's the bottom button on the side and you press and hold, and there's a very small torch there. It's not meant to light up the world, but it will be helpful in an emergency situation. 